So today I'm going to show you my metal folder, uh, show you how I made it and, uh, and what I use it for. So stick around. So I needed to fold some metal up to about 850 mil in length and to buy a metal folder was going to cost me something like about 500 pounds and it's just for this one-off job. Okay, there's about 16 bends to do but I decided I was going to have a go at making one myself. The problem was with the ones that I could buy, they were either too small, too expensive, or not very well made. So, started out with a couple of sketches. This one you can see is the actual main part of the uh, of the folder, and the second one is what I gave to my mate, which is the hinges that he kindly machined for me. So I started collecting uh, some <clears throat> metal of. Uh, the length that I needed to be able to um, build the size of uh, folder that I, that I wanted. Here you can see I'm um, just uh, just laying it out on the on the bench just to get a bit of an idea as to uh, as to what I want. But I decided to make it as big as possible from the material that I'd got. And uh, here you can see uh, a metal uh, disc cutter which I used just to cut the C section. I think that's the only real big cut that I had to do. My metal folding machine that I'm making uh, doesn't look much at the minute because it's not painted but uh, that's one of the one of the handles in place the other ones there the uh, center section is uh, st stiffened up in the middle uh, and uh, yeah some hefty bolts found a couple of um, uh, valve springs there, so they'll do for the lifting mechanism. And I've got, uh, yeah, between there and there, it'll bend 850 mil when it's finished. And some big bolts there to um, bolt it to the bench. But I rather think that I may have to bolt the bench to the floor afterwards as well, because uh, I'm pretty sure it. Uh, might lift the bench up anyway we will see here you can see some uh, initial layout of the um the c-section beam uh, you can see some um, masking tape that's uh, marked up faintly with the position where the hinge will be and this also shows the, the bolts that will retain the spring and the lift mechanism for the angle iron clamp Use this method of bolting the uh, the bolt in place with a piece of tube so that I can actually weld it from the other side. And the tube, because it's cut square, holds the bolt really nice and perpendicular to the to the metal that I'm welding it to. Next, I had some rather long cuts to do, 120 mil in length through steel that was uh, either eight millimeters thick or six millimeters thick. And I had four of these to cut in the angle iron clamp and four in the C-section main beam. So I used uh, my last one millimeter thick uh, cutting disc and uh, it did the job. I was really surprised. I thought it would have uh, been uh, consumed very quickly, but I just took my time, let the disc do the work and, uh, and it delivered. So... One disc did all of that cutting, very impressed. With the cutting done and the hinges back from uh, my mate Steve who machined them for me, uh, I was able to start uh, the process of fitting them into place and the next bit shows you. Here we are doing the uh, final fit of the bearings, uh, the uh, hinges I should say. The, um, taking a bit of fitting, a bit of lining these up properly. So just dressing away this so as it, uh, it fits nicely. And if you can see, they've got some markings on the end there, center line and uh, two center markings. So that will help me to position the hinge in both directions. So yeah, that's what's taking the fit in. So it's been a bit of time fitting them. 
uh, some of the tools I'm using, file, uh, air file, which is uh, brilliant that is, obviously magnets to keep it uh, to keep it uh, lined up, uh, clamp to clamp the ends together there, mug of coffee of course, that's the most important thing, uh, another magnet here to keep this end level, and uh, the other hinge, so I'm just working on the first hinge and uh, yeah, some more grips to keep this end clamped together. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. But the hinge is all welded in place. I was keen to uh, see how it uh, how it worked out. So uh, put a piece in and bent it. Uh, this is only thin sheet uh, galvanized steel, uh, but I could already tell that it was there was uh, need for some extra bracing in the middle. After looking at other pe the way other people had braced their folders, uh, I'd looked through all the steel stock that I'd got and I found some 15 millimeter square section, which I now realized was tool steel because it was a hell of a job to bend. Anyway, I managed to bend it and uh, here you can see it's uh, held in position with some magnets uh, ready to be, uh, to be welded up. So what's the bolt for? I can hear you all asking. Well, the bolt, is welded in the middle of the bent metal brace and what that does is you can apply a force by tightening up the the nut on the end of the bolt and it applies a force to the middle center of the bending bar and what that does it keeps the bar nice and straight in the middle so you get a nice even bend across the whole length of the part that you're bending Finally finished with all the bracing and uh, this is a little bit of a box section that I uh, first made on it. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you can see over there in the background the uh, folder that I made. And here is a piece I've made on it, which is part part for the part of the chassis. Oh, and there's another another bit uh, there. God, that's quite difficult to do in the in the camera. There you go. Enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Thanks very much for uh, for uh, for subscribing and uh, tuning into the channel. Um, see you all soon. Don't forget the sun cream.